okay so here we go um back to work uh it's friday we started our goal yesterday i jumped out the window um got a great response from everybody so now i actually have to do it so now it's day two um of 90 so um yesterday was kind of tough i went to bed i got to bed around like nine ish i didn't get good sleep though i don't know if it was the lack of sugar i don't know what it was but i kind of got sleep but not like a ton of great sleep but i got up at like six stayed in the bed till like seven ish and then got up um shout out to tony though she cooked a bunch of food for me for the next two three days so i brought all my food here i still can't eat till 11 um so i'm kind of hungry so i'm about to hop on my best friend remember that used to be at the house i dedicated it i mean i um i donated it here to uh to the gym over at stla because we're doing a lot of good work and i knew it'd be a lot more good work done here so today's gonna be pretty good i'm gonna get some workout in right now i'm probably gonna Get about an hour on the elliptical while nobody's here. Then, um, like I said, I'm training to become a trainer. So I'll be here at the gym helping out with whatever they need. Uh, Teddy Ray said he might be coming through later today. So we're going to see what it is. But let's go. Okay, so getting that first hour of cardio in. I still like to stick to that hour of cardio on the elliptical for a lot of reasons. Mostly outside of it being great cardio and getting a lot of steps, I can usually get about 6,500 to 8,000 steps in an hour which is great that's like half of my daily um but it also builds up my heart for when i do the workouts strength workouts because i my my uh, philosophy is if i can make it through an hour of breathing difficulty really without stopping a ton i can make it through tough workouts when i'm so it kind of trains me so all right about to get out of here get this hour done it's currently about 9 37 so we're gonna figure it out all right, it's almost 11 o'clock. So we're about to get ready to eat. I'm literally about, let me see. I gotta wait uh, eight minutes, but I'm at close to 8,000 steps. First meal of the day, shout out to Tonisha. She made this for me. That is ground turkey, that is spinach, that is cheese, that is black beans, that is asparagus. Those are sweet potatoes. This is my fourth bottle of water. So once I do that, that would be a half gallon officially of water so far today. And we getting it. We living life. Lego. And I'm at the gym. You already know what time it is. Yeah. All right. 250 at about 11,000 steps. So I'm going to walk those guys later and get my steps. And it's my second meal of the day. Just left over from earlier still. Um, I'm documenting everything I'm eating. So just still drinking water. That's my fifth bottle of water. So three more. Give me out a gallon. And sweet potatoes, asparagus, ground beef, cheese, spinach. All right, second meal of the day, let's go. Okay, let's see where we at. 526, still got about, oop. Oop, still got about 3,000 steps to go, but about to eat again. Got some sweet potatoes, got some asparagus, got two pieces of barbecue chicken, got some more water, two bottles away from a full gallon. Okay. And I'm watching some stuff on TV. All right, let's get it. All right, it's 8.55. You see it's Saturday the 3rd. And you see those 3,947 steps. That came from walking my pretty little dogs. It was lit. All right. With all of that being said, um, you've seen how the end of this vlog ended yesterday. It was just kind of like me eating. I want to explain that. Um, I get frustrated at times, like with different situations, whether it be an argument with this person, that person. And a lot of times it could just send me down a spiral and I'll just get upset. That don't work good for my weight. Like, like I got so, like, I was upset yesterday to the point where I was just like, man. And then my mind started tweaking. Like, yo, I want some cookies. I want some this. And I think it's because this is, it was my second day really with no really refined processed sugar and all that. So I don't know if that was part of it too. Maybe I'm extra on edge. Um, but what I learned in, in, in all of this and the reason why I'm even making this last part of this to post this um, is to let you guys know this, this, this fitness journey is so much more mental than anything it's so much harder to keep your mind focused and it was so much harder for me to be like no i'm not gonna eat i'm not gonna drink a soda i'm not gonna do all those things than it was to do any of the workouts that i do because the workouts that you do they're temporary your thoughts are with you every day so that's the thing that i like i'm learning now like stay in the best frame of mind like i'm even have to tell my girl like listen for the next 90 some days like i don't really want to be bothered with stuff like i understand life is going to happen but this got to happen too. And so, and I understand we don't live in perfect worlds where everything is good all the time. And, you know, there's enough stress in the world right now to stress anybody out and get them off of their goals. But 
you know, at some point you got to just be able to stand in the mud and just be like, listen, this is this is going to happen however it goes. This The, the goalposts ain't getting pushed back. This is it. Because if I don't get to 225 by the 4th of July, I'm going to stop talking about losing weight. People would just have to see me and just uh, just see if I'm losing weight or gain, but I'm not going to talk about it no more. That's how serious it is to me. So in order to get that, I have to put it in my mind every day. So that's what I'm, I'm happy about. I walk my dogs and I think what I'm going to start doing today for a lot more of my cardio, because I think my body has adjusted to just a straight hour of cardio on the elliptical. I think my body knows how to deal with that. Um, and I think, you know, I would be much more, um, I think I'd be much more accomplished within my goals if I start switching up my cardio, maybe start doing HIIT cardio instead of just doing a long hour for 30 minutes. I mean, for, you know, for an hour, maybe do 30 minutes where it's a bunch of different moving parts. I don't know. I'm going to talk to Amaya. I'm going to actually get Amaya on the next vlog. So you, you guys will see Amaya on the Easter um, vlog of this. So I'm going to talk to him about that. But um, I think I'm going to start getting, because I still got to stay in line with that 15,000 steps. If I walk my dogs twice a day like I just did, that'll give me eight. And I know I can get the seven somewhere else. So um, and they need that. You know what I mean? It's honestly walking my dogs is good for my mental health. It's something about the fact that I have one dog that walks really fast and Milo and he's just all over the place and King is just kind of straightforward, but I have to, to to control both of them. I have to control Milo and, and then I have these little hooks on the um Leash. on the leashes. So it's like I can let Mark Milo go further, but I gotta keep King closer, but I gotta make sure Milo doesn't go too far because he might get hit by a car. So those things are good for me. And plus there's something about fresh air sunlight uh it's not a lot of sunlight today because it, today, it was foggy outside um just fresh air releasing endorphins i think that that's better so with all of that being said we made it through day two i um, mean actually through day three this is wait today is the third yeah yesterday okay so this was technically day two of the 90 that we got to get i felt good i stayed in line with my uh with my um, intermittent fasting. I did not eat after 7 p.m. So it is currently nine o'clock. I have two more hours and I can finally eat. The food that I ate was, I, I've been documenting everything that I ate and I only drank water yesterday. So we're gonna get it. We're gonna have our first test of wits tomorrow at um, Easter, but I'm gonna work hard today to earn tomorrow. All right, bye, peace. Oh, and just to add it in and post, cause this is something I was supposed to be doing every episode. This was my stats for yesterday. All of my stats for yesterday are right here.